once again, we're continuing Shark Week here, and we've got a doozy of a film today. It's Two-Headed Shark Attack. Yes, Two-Headed Shark Attack, starring the almost Academy Award winner at Carmen Electra with a group of students who are going out to a Sandy Atoll Island to study uh, the ecosystem and, and they're going out to study. It's a school field trip where they get to learn and also be in bikinis and sun themselves and do some skiing. Uh, <laughs> well, they don't do skiing, but anyway. When they get out to the island, they find that there's a two-headed shark out there that is, uh, you know, tormenting them and keeping them from getting back to the boat that they parked way offshore because they needed to park it in deep water. Okay, and that, that comes into play later, I'll tell you. Folks, two-headed shark attack. Now, you're not going to be expecting anything too deep or or substantial from a film but you are looking for some entertainment factor and i say the entertainment factor lasts for maybe 15 20 minutes for you know the sh the sticks they do with the two-headed sharks those are okay but those run their course fairly quickly i mean it's a badly CGI two-headed shark. Gee, go figure, <laughs> you know. Uh, but the fact that you know you get the shit. You see this in the credits, uh, the trailer where you've got the two skiers and they just happen to be skiing perfectly spaced, so the shark can come out and munch them both with one with each head, which is which is nice for the heads because you know the left head kind of gets neglected occasionally. So you know there's always that double attack going on, which I understand and, and enjoyed that bit of it. I like that hook and that shtick and there are few other sticks they do with the two-headedness of the shark that I really like. But this shark seems to vary in size depending on what the script calls for a death. For instance, there's this one scene in there, and I'm not going to spoil it too much for you, but there's one scene in there where there was also some surprising uh, nudity, which doesn't happen too often in a film like this from Asylum. Yeah, that tells you, tells it all, doesn't it? But, you know, the shark was in really shallow water, and they didn't notice it at all. This big two-headed shark sneaking up out of, that was in about water, like, yeah, I mean, it's like knee-deep, okay, and this is a big, huge shark, so it was small so it could shrink itself so it could get at the people and then it was bigger later on in the film to ram into the sandy atoll because the sandy island apparently is actually like this and teeter-totter and so and the shark knows this so it's running into the island to try to knock the people off into the sea to get some munchies and yeah you know brooke hogan's acting no anyone's acting in this no there's one reason why Carmen Electra's in it she knows it she's in a bikini she's in the sun she's like here give me my paycheck you got Charlie O'Connell trying to make the best of his role but he too I think needed some quick cash and Brooke Hogan's just looking for some acting experience though there wasn't really exercising a much acting chops of this in her in this film either look a two-headed shark attack is what it is it's a, from asylum it should say it all they're hit and miss with them and this one is is kind of a miss okay it, it's this fine line and and, and they just it, it could have been better than what it was and in the end it falls flat okay so i give it one and a half stubs. You got Carmen Electra and some surprise nudity in here. You did have some fun shticks with the two-headed sharks. Unfortunately, that runs its course and they didn't really have anything else to do. So you spend the next maybe hour going, uh, yeah, when's the next person going to get eaten? And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep it.